products and technologies that augment human capabilities. Product dissection is kind of, I think, the spirit of engineering in some ways. So engineers are inherently really curious and we like to take apart products and so that's just kind of my nature. From a research perspective, there's a lot of really rich data on how people interact with physical products. So one of the projects we're looking at measures the learning and retention of students after they dissect products and as you can imagine there was a lot of very impactful things that can happen when you interact with products in a really deep and meaningful way. Virtual dissection is a lot cheaper and easier to perform than physical dissection but one of its main setbacks is that you lose a lot of active involvement for the user so as a group what we're looking to do is to create an interface that allows the user to be more interactively involved with the dissection itself. Concept selection occurs in the earlier part of product development where we're taking the ideas that we generated and we basically spread them out on a table and say which ones are the ones that we really want to go forward with, how do they compare with other designs out there, and really we want to get it down to a select few to put our time and effort into and really start shaping the final design. Ergonomic design involves the design or redesign of products that meet human capabilities and improve safety or comfort. Our research focuses on creating working environments and devices to be more effective and safer for users and patients. Currently, we are working with Hershey Medical Center to develop a new simulator and training program for central venous catheter insertion. Other products in our portfolio include computer mice, ultrasound machines, and interface design. One of the things that we try to do in the Bright Lab is bring together people with a wide variety of backgrounds. So we have people from mechanical engineering, um, industrial engineering, computer science, all working together towards a common goal. Um, it's my belief that people with diverse backgrounds bring together the most creative and innovative concepts. So as undergraduate students, we are working to assist the uh, master's and PhD grad students with their thesis projects and other projects that they're interested in. And a lot of the work that we do is the framework um, to build on our thesis papers as scholars in the Shire Honors College. Yeah, we were lucky enough to, um, to get involved with Scarlet our freshman year, and since then we've learned so much working with these, uh, these PhD master students, and it's been a really great learning experience for us. We're really fun in the Bright Lab. We paint our walls green. Woo! Let's spread that! Woo! <laughs> <laughs> To learn more about the Bright Lab, visit our website at www.emgr.psu.edu backslash Bright Lab.